Hi everyone, what's up? I hope your day is going swimmingly. I bet you have heard of the word suppose. Suppose. Yes, this is an A2 level word and it means that it's an elementary or basic user English word. But the thing is, it's used in different ways and it has a lot of different meanings. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So stay with me until the end of this video. And if you're new to this channel, I'm making English video lessons and tips. So you may want to hit that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified with my new uploads. Well, let's get started. Suppose is a verb. That means to assume something that is real or true. So you're assuming, you're only thinking that it's real or true. But you don't know exactly. You don't know for sure if it's true or real. So you suppose. Since it is a verb, it has a present form and a past form. The present form for suppose is suppose for um, I, you, we, they, subject supposes for he she it subject and the past form for suppose it's supposed now let's use suppose in sentences let's say i suppose there will be an increase in oil price again i suppose i think but i'm not sure if it's true or real i only assume that the oil price will increase Another example, it's gloomy. I suppose it will rain. I suppose only I assume that it will rain because it's gloomy. Yesterday, we supposed that the ferry boat would be late. So we only supposed, we only assumed that the ferry boat would be late yesterday. Suppose you have a million dollar, what would you buy? Okay, so suppose, assuming that you have a million dollar, what would you buy? So in these sentences, it shows us that suppose means to assume that something is real or true. You're just assuming, but you're not sure if they are really true or real. You can also use suppose in an English expression like, I suppose so. Hmm, I suppose so. I suppose so is the same meaning with I think, I believe, I imagine, mm, something like that. So I think, I assume, I suppose so. Normally, you use this to express reluctance or you're not willing to agree, unwillingness to agree with someone. So you can use it, I suppose so. Let's say, are you going to the gym this weekend? Mm, I suppose so. Are you gonna watch the squid game tonight? Um, I suppose so, but I'm not into survival drama TV series. So you are reluctant or unwilling to agree. You can use this, I suppose so, which is almost the same meaning with I think, I imagine, I believe, or I assume. Supposedly, well, supposedly is an adverb. And that means according to what is said or believed by many people in general without knowing if it is true or not. They don't know if it's true or not, but it is just because many people believe or said that. So supposedly, let's have some examples to help you understand more. The movie is supposedly based on a true story. So people think or believe that it's based on a true story. It's supposedly based on a true story. I think the code is supposedly in the email. So it is said that the code is there in the email. So supposedly the code is there in the email. He has supposedly changed since then, but I doubt about it. So supposedly he changed, but I don't know if it's true or not. So supposedly again is used as an adverb in a sentence be supposed to be supposed to this is actually confused with suppose 
B is supposed to consist of a B verb, supposed, and to. So the B verb there could be am, is, are, or was, were. And it can be used in the present or in the past. Be supposed to. Let's say the train is supposed to be here by 10 o'clock. That's in the present. The train was supposed to arrive by 10 o'clock. So that's in the past. So when to use be supposed to? Well, we use this phrase to talk about expecting something. Like events, you're expecting an event. You're expecting a behavior or even a proper way of doing something. For events, let's say the online course is supposed to start by the first week of July. So it's supposed to start. It is expected to start that time. Another example, the football match is supposed to finish at 11 o'clock, but there's extra minute added. So it is expected to finish that time, but it didn't happen so you're expecting something or an event to happen then you can use be supposed to another use of be supposed to is when you're expecting someone to do something in a proper way let's have an example use a thermometer to check your temperature it's supposed to be like that so it is supposed to be like that it's a proper way to do that to check your temperature is to use a thermometer. You're supposed to wear your seatbelt while driving. So you're expected to do that thing because it's a proper way to do it. So be supposed to, it's also used to expect someone to do something in a proper way. And another use of be supposed to is talking about behavior or you're expecting someone to behave that way. Uh, let's have some examples dogs are supposed to be friendly so you're expecting dogs to be friendly to you so you can use be supposed to as a teacher what am i supposed to do i mean what kind of behavior are you expecting me to do so that's what it means again be supposed to can be used to talk about something that you're expecting such as events um, a proper way to do something or even behavior and the negative form for be supposed to is be not supposed to so it's a be verb not and supposed to and you use it to express that you're not allowing someone to do something or it's not advisable for someone to do something then you can use be not supposed to let's say you're not supposed to speak loudly inside the library it's not allowed it's not advisable for you to do that shop clerks are not supposed to sell alcohol to kids so they're not advisable they're not allowed to sell alcohol to kids i'm not supposed to tell you what to do so i'm not really advisable to tell you what exactly you need to do because you know what to do so there, be not supposed to is a negative uh, counterpart for be supposed to. There you go. I suppose you understand this short lesson. And you're supposed to use these words and expressions in English writing and in English conversation. Comment down below some of your sample sentences with these words and expressions. Let's use them in sentences and let's practice them in the comments section. I would love to see them and I hope this video is helpful for you so please hit thumbs up share this video with your friends who want to learn English and please subscribe to my youtube channel so you can learn when and how to use your English I hope you can catch up soon